and welcome to Atomic Darts. I'm your host Matthew. On this channel, we take a look at darts, darts related materials, and other items I think the darting community should know about. And today, we are actually taking a look at a barrel that a subscriber asked me to take a look at and do a review on, and I have not reviewed this barrel. This is actually the Generation 4 Power 9.5. This is the Phil Taylor barrel. Interesting thing about this barrel, but before we do, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell down below and you'll know whenever I post a new video. So the interesting thing about this barrel, before we open the box and dive into it, is that this is the barrel that Phil used his last year of playing the PDC professionally. This is the barrel that he was using. Now, of course, there's been two generations that have come out since then. One that was more based on what he was doing in soft tip and playing over in Asia for a little bit, but this is the barrel that Phil used his last year on tour on the PDC. All right, let's open this box and take a look at it. All right, so here we have the box. Again, this is the Phil Taylor Power 9.5 Generation 4. This is the generation of the barrel that he used in his last year on the PDC, so his farewell tour year. This is the barrel that he used. Now, Phil does play with a 26 gram barrel. I happen to have the 24 here. I've been messing around with that 24 gram weight, and I just thought it'd be fun to throw these. It is a 95% tungsten barrel. And so that's the front of the box, and then, of course, on these, Target does this flap, give you a little bit more of a look, and of course you got Phil there, 16 time World Darts Champion. This barrel, he almost became the 17th time world champion. That was his last tournament against Rob Cross Voltage. You should check that match out. It's actually an incredible match. Here's the back, tells you a little bit about the dart. All right, let's go ahead and open this up, get a close up look at it. This little pool tab there, it just kind of comes out. And they send along a little flyer right here, it just tells you about some cool stuff that they've got going on. And then it's got their little guarantee of match weightedness right there. So, something you want to hold on to. All right, let's go ahead and pull these out here. And I'm gonna show you them up close and personal. That's a cool looking dart, I say so myself. All right, so here is this barrel, this Phil Taylor barrel. It's kind of got this bomb shape. I've always liked the shape of his darts. I just have always been amazed at how he hits the 180s with this shape. There's just not much room on the red bit there as he's throwing. In comparison, here is an MVG barrel. Now this is from his World Championship back in 2017. But you can kind of see the difference here as far as thickness and look at the length difference. MVG's barrel is almost the entire length <laughs> of Phil's dart. It's kind of just interesting that he's played with this type and style for so long. And maybe that's it. He's just so used to this. It's almost like a woody. If you haven't seen a woody dart, I'll get my hands on some and do a review on them. So right in here, of course, we've got the diamond pro point. This helps grip into the board so the dart doesn't fall out. And then as we come into this beginning cone shape here, this has just got a performance coating on it. It's really smooth. And then we get into the really nice grip here, the center gripped. It's got some axile cuts. It's got some radial synergy grooves in here. These cuts is kind of like a shark fin style grip. Bunch of rings in here and then these cuts that go upward. Really nice. And then this Target logo on the barrel. And this has got a, it's not really sandpaper. It's just a micro fine matte textured grip. A little bit of extra grip there. Then we come into the titanium shaft. So these do come with a titanium shaft and then the ghost flights, which I don't know how anybody throws with those. I'm gonna take them to the board here in just a minute and throw with them and we'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and take a look at this at the board. All right, so we're gonna give these little guys a throw here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the ghost flights. This is the setup that Phil would use, and I'm gonna switch out to my flights, and I think you'll see why I'm doing that. Let's go ahead and throw these. Uh, first, I wanna say, it's hot in my garage today, man. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Also, if you hear any background noise, it could be my daughter. Of course, we're all stuck at home these days, and so that's part of the deal. All right, let's throw these things. They just kick left for me. Anything with such a small flight, that's just kind of happens for me. Oh. I don't dislike the grip. All right, let's change and put my flights and shafts on. All right, so I've gone ahead and put my flights and shafts on there. And I do play a shorter shaft, so that's very similar. It's just a bigger flight. And we'll see how these hold up. That flight, just that little bit of drag and lift you get from that bigger flight makes a huge difference. Wow, these are kind of fun now. I kind of like this little, kind of like a little bumblebee type barrel. I'll be done in a minute, we can play some darts. So hey everybody, uh, my son, Dylan, you wanna come say hi to everybody? You love to do that, it's kind of like, it's becoming like a tradition now, come here. 
I want you to jump up here and say hi to everybody. Adam. Yeah, you got your broken arm. You like to show that off. Do you like to play darts? Yes. You love to play darts? All right. All right, so back to this. I like this with my flight. This is kind of a fun. Not a good throw. 26. Hey. I'm still very curious as to how, I mean, if you've ever watched Phil play, he literally uses the barrels to bounce off him. He throws at the barrel. That's kind of where I came up with this practice idea that I have about chasing the flight. And that's kind of what Phil does with these fatter barrels. It's pretty cool to watch him play. And he literally ah, will aim for the barrel and bounce it in there. I like this grip, it's not too heavy. This little back area definitely has a little bit of grip. I'm sure that would wear down quickly over time. But I like this push point right in here, you know, for my grip. I like that, I and mean, it's not overly grippy. I would give this definitely a two, maybe a little bit less than that. I can kind of feel it on my thumb when I throw it. Let's do one more throw, and I'll give you kind of a final wrap up here. Bullseyes. Bullseye. Miss. Yeah, 25, I'll take it. All right, so there you have the Phil Taylor Generation 5 barrel by Target Darts. It's really a cool looking barrel, a lot of fun to throw and play with. I understand why Phil likes this design. It is small, it's a very short barrel. It's kind of like the Bumblebee style. It's kind of like a Woody, which there's a picture of now on the screen. And now you've got the Phil Taylors again. All right, so again, as a quick look at the Phil Taylor Generation 5 barrel. Again, this review was for a subscriber and we appreciate that. If there's something that you guys want to see us review, please put it in the comments down below. We'll be happy to look into reviewing it if I haven't already reviewed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell. You'll know whenever I do post a new video. Thanks again for watching this review. Again, it's a fun dart. If you're into collecting darts, you definitely have to have this into your collection. Again, the idea that it was Phil's dart that he used on his farewell tour year in the last generation that he used from a professional standpoint. There are two other generations after this one. There's the Gen 5 and the Gen 6. Of course, this is the Gen 4. I think I've been saying Gen 5. Gen 4. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next review. Thanks again.